Now we will go over our first project in JavaScript variables module. So getting started with JavaScript, Kelvin Weather, deep in his mountainside meteorology lab, the mad scientist Kelvin has mastered weather prediction. Recently, Kelvin began publishing his weather forecasts on his website. However, there is a problem. All of his forecasts describe the temperature in Kelvin. With our knowledge of JavaScript, let's convert Kelvin to Celsius, then to Fahrenheit. For example, 283 Kelvins converts to 10 degrees Celsius, which converts to 50 Fahrenheit. If you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click Get Help to see a project walkthrough video. And let's start with the project. We have 12 tasks. Close the pop-up message. Okay, first task. The forecast today is 293 Kelvin. To start, create a variable named Kelvin and set it equal to 293. The value saved to Kelvin will stay constant choose the variable type with this in mind okay you remember when you need a variable that will stay the same the variable you are not going to change never in your code then you should use the const keyword so const kelvin equals 293 update code write a comment above that explains this line of code okay single line comments let's write constant holding our kelvin value celsius is similar to kelvin the only difference is that celsius is 273 degrees less than kelvin Let's convert Kelvin to Celsius by subtracting 273 from the Kelvin variable. Store the result in another variable named Celsius. Okay, let's set cons Celsius equals to Kelvin minus 273. And let's save our code write a comment above that explains this line of code let's go there and write comment kelvin value converted celsius and let's save our code let's go there and Check mark the tasks we completed. Use this equation to calculate Fahrenheit, then store the answer in a variable named Fahrenheit. And let's see the formula for Fahrenheit equals to Celsius multiplied by division of 9 and 5 plus 32. In the next step, we will round the number saved to Fahrenheit choose the variable type that allows you to change its value and let's go there so we need a variable that allows you to change its value we will use the let keyword so fahrenheit let fahrenheit equals to celsius multiplied 9 divided by 5 and then plus 32 and now let's save our code uh, write a comment above that explains this line of code okay so let's write celsius celsius value converted to fahrenheit I'm using copy and paste 
method just to be quicker okay that is done when you convert from celsius to fahrenheit you often get a decimal number use the floor method from the built-in math object to round down the fahrenheit temperature save the result to the fahrenheit variable so you go like this you update the fahrenheit variable so fahrenheit equals math we are using the math object and the floor method of that object don't forget the semicolon and we are rounding the value of fahrenheit variable save up code write a comment above that explains this line of code let's write a comment for this line of code so what we did here we round down the fahrenheit temperature okay okay use console.log and string interpolation to log the temperature in fahrenheit to the console as follows use string interpolation to, re to replace temperature with the value saved to fahrenheit okay let's use our first console.log in this exercise we should use the backtick character and now let's copy our string and we should replace the temperature with the with the value saved to fahrenheit variable so this is the syntax we already did this in the previous exercise okay run your program to see your results if you want to check your work open the hint and we got the temperature is 68 degrees fahrenheit let's close let's check those tasks by using variables your program should work for any kelvin temperature just change the value of kelvin and run the program again what is zero kelvin in fahrenheit and let's see if we change kelvin to zero now update the page and we got the temperature is minus 460 degrees fahrenheit and they got the same result so kelvin is equivalent to minus 460 degrees fahrenheit so everything is okay we did everything correct great work kelvin can now publish his forecasts in celsius in celsius and fahrenheit if you would like extra practice try this convert celsius to the newton scale using the equation below round down the newton temperature using the floor method and use console.log and string interpolation to log the temperature in newton to the console and we can do that no problem so let's see convert celsius to the newton scale using equation using the equation below so let newton equals to celsius multiply then we have the division 33 divided by 100 that's the formula semicolon don't forget the semicolon at the end and now round down the newton temperature using the floor method so we are updating the newton variable with the math floor method of newton variable of course use console.log and string interpolation to log the temperature in newton to the console let's use use the same console.log and let's update it the temperature is close that pop-up message the temperature is 
change the Fahrenheit to Newton degrees we can here place Newton and now let's save our code and we got the temperature is minus 99 degrees Newton okay that should be all let's check that task completed we completed all the 12 tasks here and everything works just fine and now let's continue to the next project just a pop-up message saying you did it great, great job finishing that project keep going next project is called dog years 